So we're gonna build a thermal sand battery out of a 55 gallon drum. Um, all of these pieces other than the sand I had readily available around the homestead. Uh, so we have a pretty decent section of radiant tubing left over from when we did the radiant flooring in our greenhouse. Um, if you've been following this channel, you've watched us build the greenhouse, the shop, and hook everything together. Uh, with our wood boiler. Our wood boiler heats our house, our greenhouse, and our shop. So we're just going to add a storage device. This uh, th a sand battery will pretty much harness the peak uh, heat from when our boiler is running at its um, hottest. So sometimes that's during the night is when we really pack our wood boiler and let it rip. Uh, so this will allow for those really chilly nights for just in case the temperature starts to really get cold cold at night up in the mountains. Uh, this should stabilize um, and also it'll use no power because it's also running off of the pump that's all already running in the greenhouse. Um, so let's build this thing. So we have our sand here. This is I think 14 or 15 bags. Uh, that'll be enough for one 55 gallon drum. It is general purpose sand, multi-purpose sand. Um, so I think it, a 55 gallon drum is seven and a half uh, cubic feet uh, worth of volume. So yeah, we needed just about 15 of these things. So we're gonna go ahead and find the rest of our parts and start getting this thing together. So I just got done gathering up all the supplies. So we have our uh, five eighths uh, radiant tubing we have some wire mesh, which this is actually just wire fencing here. And we have our 55 gallon drum. Uh, this actually was my temporary trash can in the shop, but I'll find another one. So we're gonna go ahead and drill a hole in the bottom and a hole in the top so that um, our tubing can go through it. I have some little adapter pieces that are some PVC that will uh, thread onto the sides here and then we'll start getting this thing assembled. So I'm gonna drill one inch and a half hole here and one up here. That way we can put our PVC uh, through fitting and that uh, PEX tubing can go right through and it's not on any sharp edges. So we just brought our 55 gallon drum inside the greenhouse. It's sitting on a little uh, barrel cart that rolls around. We have our bottom hole and top hole drilled. This is inch and a half. I was at the hardware store just yesterday and I picked up this basically just like a couple of couplings threaded and I wanted to have the radiant tube go through here but not be on some of these sharp edges. So this will just screw together, is my theory. We just screw it together. And that's a nice little snug um, through hole for our tubing. So I'll put one on the top and one on the bottom and we'll start getting our tubing wrapped up on the wire mesh. So we have our wire fencing here. I'm just cutting this section in half and then we will put it together into one full uh, piece. Just clipping it down the middle. This is just a scrap. It's normally four foot tall, but I cut this one in half when we were uh, using it for another project. So we have our wire mesh here, all in one piece. And it should fit just right about an inch below the top of the rim. So now we'll pull this thing out and we will wrap it, uh, wrap the tubing around it. So this is basically just our frame. It's basically all it is. So I'm gonna do a tail of about six feet. So that's what will be sticking out of the, uh, of the barrel. So that's, that's probably about six feet. 
This is just going to give it room for the barrel to roll out of the way in case I need to move it in the future. This is probably going to be the tricky part is just getting it started. So I just completed getting the radiant tubing wrapped around the wire fencing. It uh, may not look the prettiest, but that's going to work really well. Uh, it should be able to keep the form. It's pretty strong. So we're going to get this thing set inside of the barrel, and then we're going to run the tubes out through our uh, PVC fittings up to the manifold. And then we'll get this whole thing filled with sand and get it hooked up. So I finally got it fitted. It was a little tricky trying to get the frame and all of the tubing tucked in there, but we got it in. Everything is pretty solid. But yeah, the tubes are out and now we can uh, go ahead and fill this thing full of sand. Like I said, this is multi-purpose sand. Uh, you can get this at Lowe's. Uh, each one of these is 5, 0.5 cubic feet. Still have quite a few sandbags left, so we'll see. It, it called for 14. It was like 14 and a half sandbags, but we'll see. So I'm almost to the top. I've been kind of packing it as I've been going along with the bags, but um, yeah, I'll probably put another half a bag, bring it up almost flush to the top. I do got to leave room so that the lid, the lid is recessed a little bit. So I'm just going to come up to the top of this wire and then cap it. And then we'll get these pipes all uh, hooked up. We got the lid here, we'll get that on. Got some weight. So we got our 5 uh radiant tubing here. I'm just heating it up a little bit so I can fit this collar over the top. Once you have the collar fitted down, throw a ring on it. And this piece here goes right on top of there like that. And then the challenging part is getting this thing fed up onto it and getting it threaded.
pretty good. So I'm just gonna prime this line real quick. And that would just be by letting, I believe this. That way at least purges some of the air out. We're getting a little bit of snow at the moment, but I just threw a little bit of wood in to the boiler. Gonna get it blazing up for the nighttime, but I have the uh, thermal battery running at the moment. So in a little while, we'll go ahead and check the temperature. So I have a simple little uh, cooking thermometer. Got a little hole drilled in the top here. And we'll That tucked down into it. We'll let that thing sit so it's a little bit below 50 degrees right now. It's cold outside, it's snowing. I think it's, it's like 28 degrees outside right now. So I meant to add that the point of the sand battery is to hold heat uh, and slowly release it because as the temperature of your boiler drops while the wood is burning, you have a reserve of heat uh, in the sand where it's stored. So for instance, our greenhouse will have a reserve of heat. So if we're away for an extended, extended amount of time, that barrel is still going to be radiating heat out of it and keeping our plants happy and uh, the pipes warm. So I'm just checking the boiler real quick. It sounds like it's up to temperature because the fans aren't on. We are about 160. That thing is pretty hot. So when the when the blowers aren't blowing, it chokes off all the oxygen. So it just has the coals that are just rocking in there right now. It'll stay like that for pretty much through the night. So let's go check the greenhouse. So the little thermal battery has been running for the last about three hours now. So we're gonna come out here and uh, check the temperature in the greenhouse and see what it's up to. Temperature in here is about 53 degrees. And our incoming water temperature here is about 107. And our outgoing water temperature here is about 91 and our barrel here is about 90 degrees i can feel the temperature coming off this thing it's very nice and toasty i think it's doing a pretty good job so yeah we're just going to uh monitor it and uh see how it works over this next cold weekend it's going to be down to almost uh two degrees i think on sunday so it'll be nice to have a little bit of extra heat and uh, keep everything nice and happy. So it's the morning time. Uh, last night it got down to about 25 degrees, I believe. Uh, so I'm gonna check the thermal battery and see what temperature it's up to uh, and check the boiler and see what the water temperature is on that and see how we did. So we're gonna check out this boiler temperature real quick and see what the boiler's at and then we're gonna check the greenhouse. So we're only at like 110. So it should be at like 160. So that means there's probably burnt through a decent amount of wood because of how cold it was last night. So that's where we're at right now. It's gonna be about two or three degrees this weekend up here. So I gotta get to chopping some wood soon. Let's go check out the greenhouse. Got a little bit more snow overnight. Let's check how this thermal battery did. 
So with how cold it was last night, uh, looks like this barrel's holding up pretty well. Um, it's at 100 degrees, just about. It's like 98. And on this side of the barrel is 85-ish, somewhere around there. So incoming water temperature, Eighty eighty five. Outgoing water temperature. Eighty. Just about. So we're going to get this boiler cranked up. I would have loved to know what the peak was last night, but I can already feel like this thing's radiating a good amount of heat right now. Um, in here. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you know, this, this little cart works out pretty well for it to roll around a little bit. So in case we need to sweep under it or whatever. Um, I'd like to put almost like a quick connect in here so that in the summertime I can just disconnect it and get it out of here, out of the way. Uh, that would be pretty cool. So all in all, I'm pretty pleased on how this uh, little project came together. Uh, this was pretty much as dirt cheap as you get. All we had to do is really buy sand and we had everything else laying around the homestead. So if you guys have any questions or uh, maybe thoughts, upgrades that you would do differently on this, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear about it, love to learn about it. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.